Hello everyone and welcome back to Silly Crafting. Today we're going to be making these beautiful keychain rings for mom. I'll be showing you guys how I do the glitter background and also how I make my vinyl with Cricut Design Space. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So here's my keychain. This is 2 inches in diameter and this is what I'll be using. To start off, it comes with the protective film so just remove one of them. Now we're just going to take our glue here. It's Mod Podge in matte. And I like to just use my finger because I'm lazy to be cleaning the brushes, but use a brush if you want, uh, whatever is easier for you. I like to clean off the edges to make sure the glitter just stays on the top. So I run my finger through the top of this, like that. And now I can just lay it down. And the reason I use my finger is I could just grab a wipe and then just wipe my finger down. I'll clean okay next I'm gonna take my glitter and I'm using this blue right here and I'll just be pouring some on top just like this I'll be using this just to grab my keychain and get all the extra glitter off tap lightly not too hard but this is what we should have now I grab another piece of paper and just lay it on top and I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and now this extra glitter, don't waste it. Just pour it back into your bottle. So here it's been an hour. And if you want to do a second coat, go ahead. But I feel it has pretty good coverage right now. So I'm just going to do one coat of glitter. And I'm just going to be doing a layer of Mod Podge here. So I can seal in the glitter. And then we can do our vinyl on top. And it will dry clear so I'm just gonna let it dry for one hour here I'm gonna show you how I did this right here to put on my keychain I already printed it out it's going to look like this so first you just click on text and enter the word mom okay, now we go to the fonts and in the all system ones look up Georgia right here and that's the font I'm going to be using for the background, but you could use whatever you want. Now I made it bold, joined it a bit closer. And since this is closer than here, I just go to ungroup and now I can move the M on its own. If you guys need a little more help using Cricut Design Space, I do have a Cricut Design Space basic video. The link will be down in the description, just FYI. Now that it's done, I'm just going to weld. And now that it's welded, it's back to one image. I did make it a bit taller. I do that by unclicking in the lock button and now I can make it taller. Something like this. I'm just eyeballing it, but you guys do whatever you want. I'm now gonna lock it again and we have our background. Now to do the word Victor and add these little dashes on the end here, we're gonna go into our computer and look up character map. For back, it's font book. So, depends what computer you have, I have character map. Now in character map, this box pops up here. And I got this font from the font.com, it's called Shelma. And to use the special endings, we go to advanced view, make sure it's an advanced view. Unicode, group by, Unicode subrange, and by group by, private use of characters. Here they're very small, but if you click on them, you can make them bigger and see what letter it is with the endings. I'm looking for a V, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I don't know if there's a way to make them capitalized, but I don't know, so I'm going to do all lowercase. Here is the V that I want, and I'm going to select. And it's so small, you can't see too much, but it's there now. And I'm just going to click here and type up I-C-T-O. And I'm going to add the R for Victor at the end with the squiggly so I need to go back up and the R is right here and I'm just going to select so it's very small but I have typed out Victor right here and I'm just going to click copy now you can minimize this and open back Cricut Design Space and here we're going to enter text look up Shelma right here 
and we're gonna hit control V. Hitting control V means paste for some reason. If I just click paste, it doesn't work. So just do control V and um, take off the bolt, the bolt style, make it just regular. And there we go. Now we're gonna fix it a little bit. Just um, bring the letters in a bit closer. Something like this on group. So you can move the letters individually. There we go. And I'm just gonna highlight this and weld it back. Now I have the two elements that I need. I'm just gonna place it on top and see how big it is that I wanna make it. Uh, something like this should be good. Uh, and now to cut off around the edges like I did on this side, I'm going to go to my offset feature. And in the offset feature, I'm gonna use a little bit of it. I'm gonna put it at 0 0.07, just like this and hit apply. Now here's my offset and I can separate these two and now I'm just going to lay this right on the top. I can highlight both together and hit align so they can be centered perfectly. Now that it's centered, I'm just going to go in and slice. Once it's sliced, I can just remove all of this and delete it. We don't need it anymore. And so we're left with this and we can just highlight and align just like that. And if you were going to do one color like I did, you can just go ahead and weld this all together to make just one image. But if you want to keep them separate like this, maybe you want to do the name like a different color, feel free to. You're just going to have to print them out separately and then layer on top. Okay, so here the top Mod Podge layer has dried. Like I said, it was going to dry clear. But it's a matte finish, so it's not that shiny, but we're going to make it shiny later. Now here I have printed out my little decal that I'll be adding right on the top like this. Now I like to grab something to make this a little bit higher for me just so I could see it better. Uh, but now I'll be using my UV resin. This one I got from Amazon. I'll link it in my description. And we're gonna be sealing this. Make sure to add a good amount so it's nice and smooth all around. And then we can grab just a toothpick and start spreading it around. Be careful where the ring hole is, um, just make sure you go around it. But just start smoothing it out as best as you can. Okay, and now we can just put it, be really careful and just put it inside your UV lamp for about four minutes. It's been about four minutes and you can see now it's all nice and dry and it's got its shine back. I got the container from the dollar store but this stuff also came in the keychain kit that I bought. All these colors and the little accessories that go with it. So I'll be getting one of these things and one of these and I'll pick the color so I'm going to start off by just putting a little tassel here inside the key ring. There we go. And now I'll be putting this in here. Like that. And now I hold it up. And I just let this fall in there. Like that. And I only have wire cutters. I think that's what it is. I don't know what this is. Uh, but you'll need some sort of clamp or... Some sort of clamp to like close this just like that and now you can see here all finished if you like this video please remember to like comment subscribe and share please also head over to my instagram silly crafting underscore and to my tiktok silly crafting for a lot more videos of my work thank you so much